Hi everyone. At the end of a very long week filled with overwhelming changes and uncertainty, I am happy to be able to release Winterfell Stables' first online video during this global pandemic. Many boarding barns, regretfully, have had to close their doors to the public in an effort to help reduce traffic and flatten the trending curve of this coronavirus outbreak. For the time being, I will be posting one video per week in an effort to help riders continue growing in their passion for the equestrian sport and be ready to return to the saddle filled with excitement, strength, and increased knowledge. The purpose of this video is to remind riders of the importance of maintaining their physical strength. With the help of my sister-in-law, a certified personal fitness trainer, this video will offer you tips on how to do just that. As riders, myself included, we are often guilty of diligently researching and carrying out a strict exercise plan for our horses at the expense of not taking time to cross train our own bodies and properly prepare ourselves for the physical work that riding entails. By taking a moment to warm up prior to riding, riders can prevent muscle injuries while actually taking the time to increase their flexibility. Simple, quick exercises that can safely be performed in the aisle of your barn, such as shoulder rolls, lunges, and stretches can go a long way in preparing your body prior to mounting. Ensuring you begin your ride with proper posture will also benefit your balance, which in return will help benefit the balance of your horse. To assist riders while current saddle time is drastically reduced or maybe not available to you at all, I have asked my sister-in-law, Trina Moss, to put together a workout circuit that would benefit the core, strength, and stability that riders benefit from greatly. Trina lives with her family in Bowmanville, and together with her daughter, they have put together the following video clips from their home and sent them to me, which I'm now happy to share with you. So I encourage you to grab a mat and try the exercises with us. Hello, it's Trina Moss here. I'm Hillary's sister-in-law, and I'm here to show you a functional training workout that you can do from anywhere. The only things that you will need is a nice soft surface um, for when you do things on the floor. So a yoga mat, a lot of people will have those. Um, and then uh, maybe a small set of weights. So um, if you have uh, a set of three, five, eight, ten, um, bring those along with you too. All right, so here's how it's gonna work. I'm gonna show you eight exercises, okay? I'm gonna demonstrate them for you. And then what I want you to do is I want you to do each one of these movements for 30 seconds. Once you're done one, you move to the next one. If you need a quick break in between, that's okay. You have the transition anyway. 30 seconds for each of the eight moves. Take a two minute break, go back to the top and repeat it one more time. Make sense? Here we go. Second one, squats. Feet shoulder width apart, hands in front, squat down. Number three, we were doing knee ups. Looks like this, bring the knee up. Four, feet are nice and wide. You're going to squat over into one leg with your chest up and your butt back. Keep this leg straight. And then you're going to do the same thing on the opposite side. So back and forth, stretch the inner thigh. Back and forth. Keep your chest up. Excellent. Perfect. Exercise number five is feet are nice and wide. Turn out your toes. You're going to take a deep breath in and exhale at the top. Here we go. Awesome. 
awesome. Now let's get into our workout. Exercise number one is this sumo squat. So grab your weights out wide, wider than your shoulders, toes pointed out. And I want you to put your weights, stack them right here by your shoulders. With your chest up, you're going to go straight down. And when you come up, you're going to press above your head, press up. Perfect. Let's do another couple together. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Good job. Awesome. Exercise number two is a jumping jack. So here we go. 30 seconds of jumping jacks. Just make sure to pull your core in. Hands above the head. Here we go. Awesome. Exercise number three is single arm row. So you're going to grab one weight. You're going to stagger your feet. Okay? And you're going to bend forward from the waist. Just like this. Let your, let your arm hang straight from the shoulder. Keeping your core in tight. Hand on the thigh. You can pull the elbow right back past the ribcage. And elbow to the sky. Here we go. And pull, use the muscles along the back right here. Keep your chest towards the floor. And row, elbow to the sky. Keep your weights and your arms as close to your body as possible. Go to the other side. Stay on your feet, bend your knees, go forward. Hand on the thigh, let your arm hang, and row. You can use any object here. Milk jug, pail, weights, can, anything, water bottle. Keep the back flat. Good job, awesome. All right, exercise number four. Um, it's a lunge, so it looks like this. Lunge with a rotation over the forward leg. So, I'm gonna do 30 seconds of these like every exercise. Lunge, rotate, and come back. Lunge, rotate, come back. I'll show you from the side. Lunge, rotate, Lunge, rotate, back, and lunge. All right, exercise um, number five. All right, this one's called a single leg squat. All you need is a chair, okay? So we're gonna work on Great job. The next one, grab a small weight. It could be a can. Um, you could use a water bottle, just an object, even a ball. Okay? So I'm going to grab a weight here. What you're going to do is have your feet nice and wide. And what we're going to do is we're going to rotate from the top to the bottom. And then after uh, 30 seconds, we're going to switch sides. Okay? Make sure your core is nice and strong and your back 
It's nice and flat. Keep your chest up, okay? Other side. With that weight, up. Here we go. Go to the outside of your opposite knee. Here we go. we're going to do is use a chair as well and to work our tricep muscles holding on to those reins um, controlling your horse we have to have very strong arms so we're going to work our back of our arms right here it's a small muscle but it does a lot Side for 30 seconds. This is called a jump squat. So, and then from here, when you come up to the top, you're going to jump. Looks like that. Okay, so we'll go to the side. Ready? Squat. Alright guys, thanks so much for joining me. So remember, warm up first, okay? The warm up is 10 reps of each of those five exercises. And then the workout, we're doing uh, set your timer on your phone for 30 second uh, interval. And each of these exercises you're gonna do for 30 seconds each. Minimal rest in between. When you get through all the eight, you're going to have a two minute break and if you can, repeat the circuit one more time. All right, guys, thanks so much for having me. I hope that you found that helpful and that riders can enjoy working through Trina's suggested routine while at home. There are countless online resources and books available that promote other types of exercises and stretching routines as well. For the meantime, I'm providing you with two of my personal favorites to see. Riders Fitness Program provides weekly circuits However, use of some weights and supplies is required. Head to toe horsemanship lists eight stretches that can be done in the saddle and modified to do so on the ground. My hope is that this helped motivate you to stay fit while you wait for our beloved riding season to return. See you next week.